Hello, hello, hello. My name is Jeff and welcome to Payday 3, Rock the Kratos on Overkill. We're not even going to have to take our mask off for this one. It's going to be full solo stealth. Now, I will say you can probably follow the same steps if you're doing a lower difficulty. But on Overkill, you cannot go through the main areas until you get the VIP pass because it's a private event and you need the VIP pass to get inside the main building. So we got to sneak our way around. You can probably do this without any skills. You just sneak past the cameras, but I got the hacker skill tree going and it is probably one of my favorite skill trees when doing a solo. It actually comes in handy doing with a friend as well because one person can watch the cameras, hack their way through, and then there you go. Watch your way for your buddy if you're playing with somebody else. But this is a solo run. We're gonna go over here. I'm gonna hack this camera. And then there's going to be a guard coming through this door right behind me. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here real quick. There he is. I was like, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure he usually comes behind and then he's just going to be busy right there. There's going to be a employee on the inside of this door. You can usually sneak past her if you keep, or, or him if you keep on going. Just hug this wall right there and then there you go. I'm going to hack this camera real quick so I can get out of this room without any issues. Unfortunately, the computer that for the VIP pass is not in this room. I try to case out everything as I'm going through. I call that the secondary ideal location for the computer. Watch because that bartender sometimes will notice you. That was actually a very close call. But I'm going to come up here, go to the uh, manager's office or Sarah Rif or Cassandra Rifkin. Well, I don't know why I said Sarah. Go to her office and trigger her event so you can hack her phone. From here, you can hack the camera without it seeing you if you have the hacker skill. Go over here. Like I said, you don't really need the skill. It, you can avoid the cameras easily, but it just helps out. So you do it a little bit quicker. Where is Cassandra at? She's up here. Mm, the guard's right there. I'm going to check over here to see if the other computer's right here. Yep, this is the perfectly ideal location because as soon as you get the VIP card, you can just come into this room and get it done. So I'm going to go over here. Usually you can get in here without the guard seeing you fully. Sometimes the radio guard comes up that door or walkway and I sometimes run into him. So I'm just going to go down into this hallway, sneak past these cameras right here. Camera. I still mark everything camera. because you need it usually for the uh, challenges and you can pretty much sneak past them. Now up here is actually the other location for the uh, computer if you get this location. I call this one the last one that's not good at all and it's actually very tricky. So what you want to do if you get the computer location up here, I'm just going to tell you right now since we got a minute while we're waiting for Cassandra. You want to go ahead and I'll hack that camera right there if you have the hacker skill. If not, it's going to be a little bit tricky. Just do your best to try to put the card on the laptop and whatnot. And then when the computer is going to be over on this table over here. Uh -oh. oh, that was close. And then you just hug this wall right here while your VIP card gets done and whatnot. But I'm going to go in here because usually she'll make her way up here and then eventually make her way to the bathroom. Sometimes her pathing, though, I notice does change. And a lot of times she'll hang out in the back areas by the kitchen or go out front. Those are also ideal locations for you to go ahead and hack her phone. But I'm just going to wait here and it looks like she's coming up here. So it should be a few minutes and then she'll come into the bathroom and then easy hacking. So, yep, it looks like she is coming to the bathroom. I moved to the first stall because I want to hack her phone as soon as possible. It just saves you a few seconds. And here we go. Start that hack and then you're good. You can hide in the stall just in case that the guard comes in here because he likes to chill in the bathroom as well. Sometimes he comes between here and then guarding that door over there. And we should be able to hack this phone without any issues, without it losing connection. If you lose connection, unfortunately, you're going to have to restart the hack and find her again or wait for her or make her way back to the bathroom. Uh, this guard's going to see us. I'm going to try to get to the edge of the circle. No. Don't make this difficult. Just Got it. Me. Okay, there All we go. Right. Follow me. That was very sketchy. Now, the good thing is about these is if you're caught in the private area, they'll just escort you out. Now, if you're like back there and you get caught in the uh, secured areas, it's automatic arrest if they find you. So if you get caught in these main areas right now without the VIP pass, don't worry about it. Just let them escort you out. Then you have to make your way back to get that VIP card anyways. 
So I'm gonna have to use that same method of going through the hallway on the far right side to get back to the V the manager's office and get that uh card. I'll let you off close with a to warning. the public. Don't to wander off the guest. There we go, we made it back to the manager's office with no issue. I might have did a little time lapse just to show you me show me going through that hallway once again. I had to wait for a guard for a minute, but made it through no problem. When I'm up here, I always grab this painting just so I don't have to come back up in this area again after doing the VIP card. And there's that guard right there. Uh that camera's gonna be fine. Don't need to hack it. And then we can come over here. Like I said, this is the ideal spawn location for this computer. I absolutely love it. You gotta watch it because there is a camera right the there camera. and just back up a little bit place your card and then you can do the hack without being observed and getting caught while doing it and there we go that is actually the hardest part about this whole ordeal and i gotta i don't know where the guy is i hope the security guard doesn't walk up the steps with the radios okay we're looking good so far i'm gonna try to hurry up get down here and just walk and we're good Hardest part is actually done. At least in my opinion, that's the hardest part. We got this guy right here. I'm gonna wait for him to walk away because there is a bug that has not been addressed or fixed yet, but they've been working on the servers and doing maintenance. So I'm glad they're getting that out of the way first because I have the VIP pass, but they won't let me in. They don't even recognize that I have the IP pass. They don't rec VIP pass. They don't recognize that I'm even walking towards the door. So. I gotta wait for these guards to walk away before I do my little magic trick to get inside the VIP club. Okay, see that guard was going up those stairs just now and sometimes you can run into him so you wanna be extra careful when uh, going using those stairs. Now my little trick is I'm gonna run in this room and then both of these guards are going to get alerted or they should. What did I just, hear? just like that, you're gonna wanna come behind this dude. Well, that's not ideal the way he's walking. I'm being observed right now. Uh, that did not work like it was supposed to. So as you can see, nothing works as it's supposed to all the time. So we're just going to wait, go up, have them go back in their spots. And we're going to go ahead and run in here. There we go. That was a lot better. Or not. Now the door opens up. Okay, but we still need this gentleman's key card. But that's how you do it, and sometimes, or most of the time when I did it, they both walked towards this door, but they didn't this time. But you grab his key card, and then when they're not looking, you can just go ahead and swipe it. We're able to come in here, no problem now, and get started on the crypto wallet stuff. But first, for the first five loot bags, we're going to actually go ahead and put the paintings in here. There's two, four more paintings up top in the VIP booth that I'm about to show you. So that was number one. And then we're gonna get the four paintings up top. So after that, we won't have to go up top ever again through the rest of this playthrough. I don't know if I mentioned this, there are 21 Watch bags in going. total. You probably see them on the screen somewhere as we collect them. And maybe in the future, I'll go ahead and do a video on just showing the location of the bags, a very short video, just to help out anyone that just wants to know the bags because there are a couple that I took forever trying to uh, find. But the first set of uh, paintings are gonna be up here. They're gonna be right there and right there. You can just grab them and run them all the way down to the drop off location. I do that so I don't have to come up here again. And then the other two are gonna be right here for four, five all together if you count the one that you got in Rifkin's office. Okay, this is my final bag for up top. So that is five done. Next, we're gonna be working on the crypto wallet, but I like to case out where my rooms are first. Now you have three interchangeable rooms between the security office, vault room, and the crypto wallet. So there's no guard block in this door, and this is one of the spawn locations. Uh, I gotta wait for that cop over there, or a security guard to look away. Or I might be able to get in, nope, I cannot. But this is gonna be one of the locations. There's no guard here, so this is either gonna be the vault or the security office. 
Now, ideally, it's going to be the uh, wall. I'm actually just going to go inside the accountant's office because there's a quick way to get inside that room right there. I'm going to go right here, go up here, and there's actually a vent right there. So ideally, this will be the vault. I'm hoping it is for this playthrough because also the drop off is right there and it is the vault, which is great. I'm going to come in here real quick. I'm going to look at these numbers one, three and seven, and I'm going to try to remember it. So the vault's going to be right there. We're not doing that just yet, though. Put that door right there. Come out here. Now we're going to come down here. This guard's blocking this door. So this is going to be the crypto wallet room right there. And then right there, we don't really need it. We're going to need to go in the tunnel for the loot crates. But that's going to be the security office, which we do not need to access, thankfully. So I'm going to come over here. We got to go to the accountant's office once again. Go up here. Sneak your way past this camera up here. You can usually do it when it's facing the little stairs. So I have the hacker skill, but just to show you guys, I'm just going to do that. And then I have that ability to get the one pick lock pick once my rush ability is activated, which is very useful. You have three codes up here, one, three, and seven. So the code's going to be three, one, three, seven, which is right there. Another code can spawn inside the safe right here. Let's see if I can crack it real quick. And usually there is a bag of money inside the safe as well. And there's actually going to be three bags in total you can get out of the accounting office. I'm just going to bag them up. We're not taking them to the drop-off location yet. I usually like to do it in a certain order so I can count them as I go. But here we go. Just one more number. Try not to mess it up. Because sometimes when I'm going too fast, I do mess it up. There you go. There's another code right there. That's not going to be the code, though. The code for us is going to actually be right there. These bags, I'll just drop off right here, and there's going to be two bags inside here. And then there's going to be the red key card you need to get into the crypto wallet room. Throw that bag there. And then over here, we have another bag that we can grab. Just throw that in the room as well. We're going to come back and get that later. Thankfully, the drop off location is right there. Otherwise, it's actually at the other end of the VIP area or VIP club all the way down there. But 3137. As I go down, we actually have to go to the crypto wallet room. Oh, that camera is watching me. It's a camera. I'm going to go ahead and go to the vault. I'm just going to open the vault so I don't have to remember the code for later because a lot of the times I do forget the code because I always save the vault or after the crypto wall. So three, one, three, seven. Ooh, that was wrong. Three, one, three, seven. There we go. Just open that for later on. Don't need it right now. That camera's looking away. All oh, right. Now, this is the one I've had most practice with is this guard right here when the crypto wall is in this area. I'm going to go ahead and hack this camera, actually. You can do it while it's looking away. That's fine. I'm just going to do it just so, because I have the ability. Now, to get him away from that door, I come over here, crouch, make sure he doesn't see, see me. Oh, that was close because I almost got a berserk right. doing that. He's going to go investigate that and that can lock pick this door freely to get inside here. And there's going to be a camera actually at the very far end of the wall. I always close the door so it's on the outside like that. Come over here. You can obviously do this, like I said, getting past the camera. I'm just going to hack it. I know I sound like a broken record at this point. Get this door. Ooh, that was very close. Now, get this door right here. Come in here. And we got the crypto wall right there. But we need to flip a switch. It's going to be L115 green for the switch. Now, we're going to go ahead and find the switch. I had to wait for her to stop talking for a second. Now, I flipped the door on the outside because you can walk out without him seeing you and without that camera seeing you. So that is another tip. Just whenever you come out of these doors, always flip them to the outside so they're opening on the outside. And obviously when you're in the secure rooms, do not run with the door open because guards will here and they will come to investigate. We're gonna open both of these doors with that blue key card. Right here is actually gonna be your exit. And then right over here is where the switch is gonna be. I believe it was L115 green. I hope it was. Otherwise, this is gonna be such a fail. There we go. Got it. Now we got to go back to the accountant's office and reset the scanner. Usually you can crouch by that camera and 
you know, spot you for a second, but usually you can get by before it fully like recognizes what's actually going on. So we're gonna do this, then we gotta head back to the crypto wallet, and we should be able to get the crypto wallet out of the vault. Yep, the camera's in a very good location. Go down here. You can probably actually walk when you're not being spotted by cameras. Now, as you can see, the door is blocking his view, so we can just walk in. I still have that camera hacked, but if you don't have that ability and you're doing this early game, just watch out for that camera. Come over here, and this is going to be bag number six for our loot out of 21. You can go ahead and open this one. We're not taking it just yet, but there's going to be a bag in there. We'll come back for it later on. And obviously, I'm going to be listing them as we do them. So here we go for bag number six. Now, essentially, if you're doing this very quickly, all you need, I believe, is the crypto wallet to escape. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to get all the loot. For this one, we're actually going to be going in. I'm going to hack this real quick. I'm going to get the vault loot now. We're at six bags for our loot. This is going to bring us to 12 because there are six bags inside of this vault. So I'm just going to bag them up real quick. And then we're just going to go ahead and walk out of here, throw them in the drop off location. And the vault is going to be done. Okay, I got all the vault bags. Now we're going to go up to the accountant's office. We're going to get these bags taken care of next. Going to hack this camera just so I don't got to worry about it once again. And then once we get these bags, we're going to be at 15 bags inside the thing. And we're actually are almost done. Okay. And that is 15 bags. There's actually going to be one right over here next to this train. Uh, if your drop off location is on the other side, then you just got to come all the way down to the right side of the facility. And it's going to be right here. You got to make sure to do it without being spotted. Cause sometimes there's a guard walking right there, Go ahead and grab the, this loot. And then we're going to take it over, drop it off right here. That is going to be number 16. 17 and 18 are going to be on both maintenance tunnels. So I'll actually go ahead and do the one next to the vault first. Since we're right here and I already have it open. Got to go right there. The guard, he is busy on his phone. Just got to wait for that camera. I'm just going to go ahead and wait for it. Crouch around. There's going to be one right here for number 18. Okay, I just dropped that one off. I was actually trying to remember how many bags I've done because I've lost count a little bit. So we're going to go over to the other maintenance room just to get that one done. Nobody is watching, I believe. And I'm going to do that one pick. Sneak in here. There's going to be a camera right there, but there is our other loot crate right there. And I lost count, but they, the count will be on the screen. I'm getting a little impatient. I got to calm them down for a second. There we go. Now I can come over here. Okay, and that was bag number 18, I believe. I lost count for a second again because I had to step away. So we're going to go back for bag number 19. Now it's going to be in one of the uh, poker rooms. And whoops, that kind of tabbed out for a second. And one of the poker rooms is going to be a bag of money on the table. It might actually be this one right here. No, it's not. But for number 19, actually, it's going to be back here in this room next to an elevator. It's going to be in the poker room. I took forever finding this one on my first time. I was missing a bag. And I had to look up on Reddit, actually. And someone said that it was in next to the elevator. And I finally uh, found it. So this is going to be bag number 19. And then we got two more bags to go. So the poker room is probably going to be on this side that we need to get to. Yep, it's right there. Now, this is actually fairly simple. You just want to stand far back away. And then you can get this without being observed. That should be good enough. You just want to kind of feather it. There we go. Or not. You know what? Go behind these guys. That's what you want to do probably, right? No. That is not going to work. And there we go. That took a second. But after this, we got one more bag to go. And I believe it's actually going to be in that crypto wall room where I opened the crate earlier. So I got to come running all the way back down here to where the crypto wall was. Go in here. That camera is right there. I almost forgot about. Pick up uh, this bag. 
camera's looking away. Yes, it is. So we should be fine. Almost, almost. Yep. There we go. <laughs> I, I try not to use the skill all the time just in case you guys see that it can be done without the skill but there we go and that is your final bag and it actually i did not realize that until just now in the top left my board was covering it but once it says secure other loot once you get all the bags it actually uh finishes the objective and then you can know that you got all the bags so that is something i actually just learned as we're recording this because I saw it got crossed out. But there you go, all 21 bags. And one time when I did this, I got 756,000. But I think it varies from playthrough to playthrough, maybe. This time I only got 710,000. So I'm not sure how I got 756,000 before, but there you go, all 21 bags of loot done. Fully stealth. Done in about 32 minutes. I had to step away for like three or four minutes to go grab a package at the door, but that is done with Rock the Cradle on Overkill. Hope I helped someone out. Hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, remember to change that world one smile at a time. You never know who's left. You can save or change. And as always, I can't wait to see you in the next live stream or video. Love you guys. Again, thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate you guys more than anything in the world, especially if you made it this far into the video. Up over here, we got your most recommended video just for you. Down over here, make sure you subscribe and come back for more. As always, I can't wait to see you in the next video, and I look forward to reading your comments. Love you guys.